Dan Kirkpatrick must have woken up on Monday morning and thought, man, not enough people have been talking about me lately. And instead of saying something stupid about women don't belong in Formula One, they're not masculine enough, they're not strong enough to handle one of the cars, which she just said this year, she instead decided to make Sherry Pollock's unfortunate passing about herself. And she took to Instagram and posted onto her story her own commentary over Martin Truex Jr.'s statement about the passing of his former partner. Take a look at what she said real quick. Danica said, I avoid negativity on social almost at all costs. Almost. But this is the most insensitive, disconnected statement from a guy that I never liked, and obviously for good reason. I don't care what happened between them, but this is as cold as it gets. A PR rep wrote this, guaranteed. You're free from this now, Sherry, with a heart. And I'll be honest, Danica Patrick did not run this past her PR person, and she absolutely should have, because she's getting dragged on the internet streets, rightfully so. That is such a scumbag statement to make. And I don't care what Danica Patrick's personal feelings are about Martin Truex Jr. or what she thinks happened or didn't happen or anything else that matters about that. What does matter is the fact that this is not the time to air out your grievances about a guy that you don't like. To do it after the passing of his longtime partner. And again, whatever Martin's feelings are on it absolutely does not matter for any of us. It's it's between he, her, and whoever else is involved in their relationship. Not between Danica Patrick, not between us. One thing I do know is that Danica Patrick did not run that past a PR person because they absolutely would have shut that down immediately because Danica is getting dragged on these internet streets, and rightfully so, because that's such a scumbag statement to make. I don't care what your grievances are with Martin Truex Jr., this is not the time to air it out. One thing I do know is that Danica Patrick absolutely did not run that past a PR person because if she did, they would have shut that down immediately because that's such a scumbag statement to make. Regardless of what your grievances are with Martin Truex Jr., right then, Monday morning, the day after his former partner passes away, is not the time to make those. And before you go and press send, post, or whatever else, maybe take a look at it, read it a second time, and be like, mm, I should hold off on this. So let's not talk about Danica Patrick and what a scumbag she is, in my opinion. Instead, let's talk about Sherry Pollux and all the good things that she did in the limelight to help try to bring awareness to both ovarian cancer and childhood cancer. Obviously, Sherry Pollux is a longtime partner of Martin Truex Jr., and they broke up last year. Whatever the circumstances are around that does not matter. None of our business. But what does matter is all of the effort and time and energy she put into not only raising money for ovarian cancer research, but also childhood cancer research. She was diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer nine years ago, and during her battle, she started up Catwalk for a Cause. And through that cause, through that foundation and everything else that goes along with it, she was able to raise over $4 million for both ovarian cancer research and childhood cancer research. Really admirable things to do. And every time she's at the racetrack, she always had a smile on her face. And if you've ever been around a person that has cancer and been battling cancer and they've had their own fight, you know that a lot of those times that smile is there and you know there's a battle going on. Whether, I mean, it wears... And every time she was at the racetrack, she always had a smile on her face. And if you've been around somebody that's been battling cancer, you know that smile is a lot of times just masking this fight that's going on inside of them because it, it wears them down physically, mentally. It just wears the spirit out. And for her to continue to show up week after week and do all the things that she did, all the appearances, all the media things that she did was just absolutely fantastic. And Jeff Gluck sat down with her last year and did a write-up for The Athletic, and it was absolutely fantastic. If you haven't had a chance to read it, go to Jeff Gluck's Twitter. He has it linked on there. It's not behind a paywall. You can go ahead and read it. Um, but it's it's phenomenal, and it deserves all the credit in the world uh, that she got for what she did to not only raise awareness, but also to you know be an ambassador for the sport and be an ambassador for the cause as well. Um, unfortunately, in 2021, her cancer came back, and it was in her lungs, and unfortunately was very resilient to any type of treatment, which unfortunately leads to her passing this past Sunday. But everything that she was able to accomplish and, and do for, for not only childhood cancer research, but also for ovarian cancer research, which I think probably is one of those ones that gets pushed down a little bit because there's obviously the more widely known um, types of cancer. And unfortunately for her, she got a very rare and aggressive type as well. And yeah, I think NASCAR said it best in their write-up about her. And at the very end of it, NASCAR said that her legacy is powerful, lasting 
uh, one as a champion of good causes and a resilient ambassador in the fight against the disease. And I think that's honestly one of the best things you absolutely could have said about her because that's exactly what she did. And I know everybody has been affected by cancer one way or another and you all, everybody has a cause for whatever type of cancer that's really close uh, to their heart. Mine is colon cancer. I, hers was ovarian cancer. Somebody else's might be pancreatic or lymphoma or, or whatever else. And I think anytime you can do literally anything to raise awareness to the disease, raise money for it, it's the most admirable thing you can do. And to do that while you're battling that disease as well is just, I mean, it's over the top admirable. Like that's a, a, a golden ticket, right? That's just a good all around good person. So um, it's unfortunate that it has to be clouded by Danica Patrick making some scumbag statements, but the memory of Sherry and what she was able to do, not only for the research and the sport and everything else that goes along with it, but also just being what seemingly a great person who just loved life and everything else that went along with it. So um, take a look at Catwalk for a Cause, donate if you can, and um, yeah, just be supportive. Think before you press send. That's really what it comes down to. And uh, know, know the time and the place. Read the room. All of that. Just don't, don't be a Danica Patrick. Have a forgettable cup career and then say continually say stupid things on the internet. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads. BreakHard blog.